Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So if you are new here, um, my name is Raquel. Um, I am from Trinidad and in today's video we're talking about gym and transportation. <laughs> So one of the things I have actually, I actually love in Germany is the transportation and I say this because I was not one person to kind of really take a lot of public transportation however in Germany it's amazing. So first of all they have two main sets of transportation that you need to note. Um, you have your regional transportation which would be in the general region where you live and then you have nationwide transportation. So usually um in your region you have a specific company um that deals with the transportation in your region and then for the entire country you have deutsche bahn which deals with transportation throughout the entire country and so to make it really uncomplicated when you first come to germany i definitely recommend that you download the deutsche bahn app um, once you have the deutsche bahn app everything kind of runs smoothly from there but then if you think about getting like every app for every transportation company in every region listen it's frustrating um so first thing the deutsche bahn app it's really simple to use you can also have it in english um and yeah so that's your first start now let's separate it into regions and national transport so let's first deal with national because it's easier um you have the Deutsche Bahn, as I said before, which is the main mode of transport. They provide a lot of the long distance trains that are, a lot of people know and love. They're very comfortable. I definitely recommend taking them. Recently, though, you also have a Flix train. Flix was a company that only provided long distance buses, but now they also provide the train, which somehow is providing some competition to Deutsche Bahn. Although the Flix train is always much cheaper than Deutsche Bahn, yeah, it's maybe not as comfortable. So. You can definitely take a look at both of them. So you have Deutsche Bahn and Flixtrain. Those are the two main ways to get around the country. So for example, if I want to go from the very west to the very east, let's say for example from Cologne to Berlin, these are on total opposite sides of the country, I will definitely want to take a long distance train and it could be either by Flixtrain or Deutsche Bahn. So simple. Now let's get into the regional transport and that's basically transportation within your um state um so for example i live in north rhine westfalen in north rhine westfalen you have a lot of the major cities we're talking Düsseldorf, cologne dortmund münster so Bochum. yeah now i'm guessing it's smaller cities but yeah let's say i want to go from Düsseldorf to cologne i need to take regional transportation to get from Düsseldorf to cologne Obviously, it's going to be too expensive if I take the national transportation because it's very nearby. They're about, I think, half an hour away by train. So, um, you get into the different types of regional transportation. And the first one is the S-Bahn, which is the one that runs above ground, um, but it's not a tram. A tram also runs on the street, but they usually have connections above to the electricity. Then you have the U-Bahn, which is the underground or the subway, as most people would know it as. Um, and this is probably the fastest mode of transportation if you're in a city. In many big cities like Berlin, the S-Bahn actually becomes goes underground, even though it's S-Bahn, it still goes underground. It's really special. Then of course you have buses, which are um, also easier depending on your connection. You take a bus, then you take an S-Bahn and an U-Bahn, whatever it is. Buses run on time. And this is what I love. There is a schedule. Um, and in many cities or villages, the buses really run to schedule. I have experienced where I lived before that the bus... The bus was not always dependable, but at the end of the day, usually the norm is that the bus is going to come at a specific time. If the bus is supposed to come at 11.43, 11.42, you're going to see the bus coming down the street. <laughs> And if nobody is standing there at the bus stop, they're just going to go by. It's very rare or in not most cases, the bus will actually stop and wait, especially if they're running exactly on time. The bus will just go by. Um, and I learned very quickly as a student that you need to run. Okay, you need to run. So if you don't like to run, forget about it. You need to be on time or before time because there's a chance that the bus might even come ahead of schedule and you want to be there waiting for the bus. 
Um, so that's, we did national, regional, and let's talk a little bit about the tickets. Now, they have many different types of tickets that you can buy. And actually, a friend recently visited me and I realized how confusing it is to actually buy a ticket there. So if you have the Deutsche Bahn app, you can buy the tickets directly in the app. Now, there are several different types of tickets, so you have to know what you want to get. If you get an Einzelfahrt ticket, which is a one trip ticket, this ticket is only valid for a very short period of time in one direction. It's never valid for a round trip, even though you're taking it from one stop to the next and returning to that stop, you have to buy two tickets in that case. Two single trip tickets. They also have an option to buy four or ten single trip tickets together and it's like a couple dollars cheaper, not a huge discount. But if you know you take the bus a lot and you don't want to get a subscription ticket, then buying a set of four or ten tickets is your go-to. Then you have the people with the subscription subs subscription tickets. Now, a subscription ticket is basically you pay, like I said, a subscription every month um, and you, you get this plastic card that you're able to use how many ever times on the bus. I believe it's unlimited. It can change or vary in some regions, but usually they're quite expensive and they really only recommend it for people who take public transportation daily to and from work to and from school for the children um teenagers and stuff they have a discounted price as well as for the elderly they also have a discounted price so it really works out well if you're a student or an elderly person but for me personally i checked it and it's a lot of money although some people are lucky enough that their company offers them a discounted price on these subscription tickets and if that is the case i definitely say take it because fuel is expensive like fuel is expensive so it's better to take the public transportation if it's available to you um then you also have in some of the regions they might have special tickets like 24 hour tickets happy hour tickets often the happy hour tickets they wait from after working hours so probably like from five or six until the end of the transport working day if it's two o'clock in the morning or 11 at night it depends on the region that you are traveling within um and those happy hour tickets tend to be a little bit less than the regular single tickets and than the regular tickets and you can also use them for that entire period of time as many times as you want uh if you are not able to download the deutsche bahn app for whatever reason you also have the option to directly purchase a ticket on site so directly at the train station they have places that you can purchase the tickets for the trains um, and basically it's just like this little machine you have to purchase the ticket as well as you need to validate the ticket now the problem with the validation machine is that one you need to find it because it's just like this tiny machine probably like this size and you need to stick your ticket in it and it's going to stamp the date on it some tickets are already val validated so you also have to be able to speak a bit of german to know what the word validated means because obviously it's not usually in english um or somebody needs to tell you also for the buses you can buy the tickets directly on the bus as well as um you can buy these all the tickets that i mentioned before can be purchased directly on the bus for the bus um as well as they usually have an office um in major train stations where you can go speak to somebody directly and very often not all the time but very often you can speak to somebody in english and they can explain to you what's going on especially if you have problems with delays which are extremely common, especially where I live. They experience a lot of delays in the train service. So a lot of the time I go to these people and ask them, well, what's going on? Are you going to book me on the next train? What are we doing? What can you do for me? Um, and last but not least, I want to mention, because it's very important in this time, um, the German authorities offered a nine euro ticket which is amazing because you just pay nine euros and you could use this ticket to take all regional transportation within Germany per month. So basically at the beginning of the month, I pay nine euros and with that ticket, I can take all the buses, um, S-bahns, U-bahns and regional trains within a city. Of course, if you want to go somewhere far like Berlin, um, it's going to take a really long time if you only use the regional connection. However, if you want to do something small like go shopping or just visit a friend, get drunk or something, it's super useful because you just paid 9 euro. Whereas normally 
a ticket will probably cost you maybe around 15 euro if i had to go to let's say an hour away the ticket might be around 15 euro and that's one way so both ways i'll pay something around 30 euro whereas now i have a nine euro ticket that i can use for the entire month so that's amazing um i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to leave me a comment what do you think about the public transportation um yeah that's all i have for you guys don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video